velocity squared. Our next topic is um, relative velocity and relative acceleration. So everything is relative when we move. For example, uh, we say the velocity of a car is um, 55 mile per hour, 25 degrees north of east. That 55 mile per hour obviously is with respect to the ground. We consider ground does not move. Probably you say ground doesn't move, but don't forget the ground is a part of the surface of the Earth. Earth rotates around its own axis. Earth also revolves around the sun. So actually the ground does move, but we don't care. We take the ground as reference. We can take anything as reference. If we take something as reference, we assume that something doesn't move. So from now on, we need to define things Especially when we define, let's say, motion, we have to specify. We have to specify what is our reference. Let's look at this case. We have two coordinates of x, y, o, and the other one is x prime, y prime, o prime. Imagine the x, y, o, uh, the x prime, y prime, o prime is airplane, say, and the x, y, o is fixed on the ground. That is a Cartesian. Uh, reference frame fixed on the ground and the x prime o prime y prime is the Cartesian reference frame fixed on an air prime. So during t equal to zero the o and o prime are at the same location but somehow when t equal to t which is t seconds later that airplane takes off. Say now the o prime is right here so we have a relative motion. Imagine we have a particle P, which is an apple, for example, um, inside the airplane. So with respect to the O prime, this apple has the position of O prime P. But if we ask for well, what is the position of the apple with respect to the reference point O, then we say, well, we just take reference point O and uh, point to P. So that's that. We learned about um, vectors addition. Isn't that true? The first one right here look like is O O prime, right? The second one is the O prime to P, which is right here. And tail tip, tail tip. So therefore, this one is the resultant. So this one is O O prime plus O prime P, right? What is that? That is actually OP. That is apple's position or particle's position with respect to point O. So we say OP, OP this vector, equals to O O prime vector plus O prime P vector. That is the O O prime vector plus O prime P vector equals to O P vector that looks like okay now this happens during T second right so if we divide by T say or we can differentiate to make D O P over D T equals D O O prime over D T plus D O prime P D T same thing what is O P over T? That is the speed because before this is the position of the apple with respect to O. If you divide by time, that is how fast it moved with respect to O. So what happened is we should say since O fixed on the ground, so this one, the first turn is V of P with respect to O. 
that equals to the second term is that how fast did the O prime move? The O prime is a part of the airplane. So it's V how fast the O prime moved with respect to O. Plus, what about that third term? Third term is how fast the apple P moved with respect to airplane O prime. So that is V how fast that O prime P. So that is O prime P. Well, this doesn't look like um, very good. If I switch the position, it will be better. If I switch this one, this one is V O prime P, say, and this one put over there is V O prime O. What I want you to see is V P and, well, as a matter of fact, I should have this P over here. So. As a matter of fact, this should be here, and this should be there. So this term should be V P O prime, because this is P with respect to O prime. And that is O prime with respect to O. So starting from here, I should say um, that is P with respect to O prime. So this one, this two, this one should be um, switched as P with respect to O prime. Okay. And then this is O prime with respect to O. So this is O prime with respect to O. And that one is P with respect to O. So that one's P with respect to O. We all switch its notation. Before we just say OP, now say PO. This one, before we say O, o prime, we say O prime O, we switch, okay? This is uh, O prime P, we switch P O prime. So we all switch. We all take it with respect to P with respect to O prime, O prime with respect to O, P with respect to O. So, now what do we get? We get P with respect to O equals P with respect to O prime plus O prime with respect to O. What does that mean? That means the apple's motion with respect to the ground is apple's motion with respect to the plan plus Plan's motion with respect to ground. Let me explain to you by using examples, see whether that makes sense. Okay, let's have a summary that O is on the ground and O prime is the origin of the airplane, which is um, the X prime, Y prime, O prime axis fixed on the airplane. And then P is the apple, so particle P. So if I ask what's the position that a particle with respect to O, that is P O. That is that. If I ask what is the position of particle with respect to O prime origin, that is P O prime. If I ask what is O prime with respect to the O on the ground, that is O prime O. So that two vectors add equal to the third one. If I differentiate, I explained, if I d dt of this and then the next one and then this one, what I get is V of P with respect to O equals to V of P with respect to O prime plus V of O prime with respect to O. Now, let me explain to you. Say we have, this is a ground as a reference. Now we have a train, let's say we have a train. And then we have a person inside the train, okay? So if the train doesn't move, we let this person move. Say this person can move as a V person with respect to train. It can move two meter per second. It can walk, you know, two meter per second, run, whatever. 
so after after two second this person this is the initial location let's make x equal to zero where this person this person will be two meters on the right side of that x equal to zero right so that's case number one now what if the train start to move train has a v train equal to 10 meter per second this v train is v train to the ground because train moves with respect to the ground so I ask question now, if the train moves at 10 meters per second, every one second the train moves to the right 10 meters, if at the same time this person also runs inside the train, same direction to the right at 2 meters per second, that is the person with respect to train. Now what is the position of this person with respect to ground? Think. Person move with respect to train 2 meters to the right. Train move to the ground 10 meters to the right. Then the person to the ground will be 12 meters to the right of x equals 0. Because the train helped the person move 10 meters. And person himself run 2 meters away from a particular point of the train so the total will be 12 so we are asking actually the person to the ground if we play with that equation the person to the ground is the v person to the train plus v train to the ground and then this is a one dimensional case right if we choose to the right as positive person to the train is positive because that is to the right so 2.0 meter per second is positive. And trend to the ground is also to the right is positive. That is 10 meter per second. So person to the ground end of 12 meter per second. Positive means to the right. Therefore, after one second, this person is 12 meters on the right side of x equals 0. So this is a very interesting case. Let's look at another case. If we have two cars, let's say this is a car of one that is car of two. If both moves with respect to ground, let's have V car one to the ground. Let's have V car two to the ground, both moves. Let's make some number. Say V car one move to the ground is 10 meter per second, and V car two to the ground is 20 meter per second. You know if these two cars, um, I'm sorry, this is a one. So I mark this two. So this must be two. Okay, I mark this is a one. This must be one. Okay, so car two this is a V car two to the ground 10 meter per second. Car one is behind two. That is. 20 meter per second. So, you know, if there's a car moving faster behind a slow car, what's going to happen is one is going to approach two, eventually it's going to hit two, right? So, um, let's take a look at what happened. If we ask for V, one with respect to two, what does that mean? How fast one moves with respect to two? When we say that, we assume if two doesn't move, how fast one moves with respect to two? Obviously, two moves 10 meters per second to the ground, one moves 20 meters per second to the ground, so one with respect to two is 10 meters per second forward. So the distance between one and two will be shortened. Every one second will be shortened by 10 meters. So let's play with the equation. V12 equals to V car one to the ground plus V ground to the 2. How do we get that? Look at the equation. Okay. This is P, this is O. So P is first one. O is last one. And third in the middle. So V1 to the 2 is 1 to the third guy, the third guy to 2. So the 1 is first, 2 is last. And again, if we choose to the right is positive, then 1 to the ground is to the right. So it's 20. 
of a meter per second. Now, car two to the ground is to the right. Ground to the two is backwards. Because, you think about this, car two to the ground move this way. If we say if car doesn't move, it must be ground move backwards. So, ground to the car two is moving to the left. To the left is negative. How fast? 10 meters per second. So, the result will be 20 plus negative 10. That will be 10 meters per second. That is how fast car 1 with respect to car 2. So, we got this. We say that V, uh, in this case, that is uh, the car 2 to the ground is this way. And then V, ground to the car 2, is opposite way. Imagine you are inside a train. If you look at a tree that outside on the ground, well, you feel that the tree actually passes you to the left if your train actually moves to the right, the same speed. So at that moment, you assume you take yourself, the train as reference, so if the train doesn't move, it must be the tree and ground move to the left at the same speed as the train move to the right. So this is a relative motion case.